And tonight we bring you continuing coverage of Fox 11's exclusive inside look at Operation Black Veil 2. The four-day undercover sting to catch potential internet child sex predators is not only taxing for investigators, but also can be dangerous. Law enforcement officials in Northeast and Central Wisconsin headed up the operation, which resulted in 15 arrests in six different counties. Recommended charges range from child enticement to using a computer to facilitate a child sex crime. Those facing charges as a result of the sting include these two men who have connections to the Green Bay Public School District. The Door and Brown County Sheriff's Departments granted me exclusive access to that operation. And while law enforcement officials involved in the sting strive to make an impact, I learned how this assignment impacts them. The responses you get, and the pictures that they send back, it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of disturbing. From graphic images to explicit language, we saw it all over the shoulders of law enforcement officials. We've been doing this for seven years now, these chat investigations and child pornography, so nothing surprises me. Door County Sheriff's Deputy Jason Stenzel, who was participating in the online sting for the first time, was a little more bothered. You know, some of these, just some of the titles in the post are so unbelievable that I, like, yeah, <laughs> how do you respond to it? The investigators worked out of the Door County Sheriff's Department. They used Craigslist to target online predators who solicit children for the purpose of engaging in sexually explicit activity. People take breaks at work to go on these and do these things. The chatters, who pose online as 15-year-old boys and girls, say they're in it to fight the problem. Many of them have children of their own. I see how my kids are addicted to the computers and you know their text messages and their phones and everything. And it's so easy for people to prey on all kids, you know, including mine that I just feel the need is out there for us to be out there enforcing this. They're basically uh, looking at pornography for you know, 12 hours a day for days on end. Door County Sheriff Terry Vogel says he worries about the officers who are involved with the online communications. We, to some extent, choose officers that we feel as though can handle some of the, uh, the dealings that they're doing in there, but we also have follow-up with uh, professionals that they can, they, they can seek help with. We have mandatory uh, sessions where they just need to go and talk to somebody, whether they feel they need it or not. While investigators are chatting online to target potential child sex predators, so-called takedown teams are on standby to make an arrest should someone arrange a sexual encounter with a teen. They are in conversations right now where they might, uh, they might end up meeting. Fox 11 was with law enforcement officials as they made arrests across Brown County, including gas stations, a pharmacy, and even a bowling alley. Investigators conducting these busts say it can be a dangerous undertaking. That's why arrest teams make an effort to get to the predetermined meet location before the suspect does. On our way to one anticipated bust, Brown County Sheriff's Captain Jeff Sanborn explained the risks officers face. Catching us there or setting us up, maybe an ambush type thing. Um, so we'll do surveillance way early, see if we see them driving by to see if they're looking for us. Because there's a lot on the line, this type of crime. In fact, our cameras caught one potential suspect driving a gray car around the meat spot prior to his arrest. Investigators say they've learned to expect the unexpected. Officers always make the assumption the person is armed and they never let their guard down. Let me tell you, these individuals, um, we call it hinky. Um, they are street savvy. Um, they'll do their own counter surveillance when they get to a location to see if there's any police established in those areas. Um, you know, you have to be a good investigator, watch, watch the vehicles coming in and out, and um, look for your target vehicles, because not often do they come with the vehicle that they indicate that they're coming in. It's very important that, we, that safety is a priority. Brown County Sheriff John Gossage says because the majority of the arrests take place in public, law enforcement act cautiously to ensure not only their own safety, but that of others. The officers are trained in how to uh, safely take that person into custody to ensure the safety of the uh, traveling and motoring public uh, in the area, as well as officer safety, to be cognizant of uh, weapons, things of that nature that might be present. 171, the command. Despite the toll and the dangers this type of sting presents for law enforcement officers, they say they're not giving up the fight. Our most important resource is, is our children. It's, it's our future, and it's very important that we protect that. And we're not going to have, uh, have them become victims of sex acts or, or any type of sexual solicitation 
uh, through this person hiding behind the computer, behind that black veil. Law enforcement officials say they will continue these undercover operations. They say exposing the predators within our community shows the public the problem does exist. It also emphasizes the need for parents to educate their children to be careful on the Internet.